Hey, what's up, Blue Collar Business Owner? Welcome back to the Blue Collar Prosperity Podcast. I'm your host, Paul Masco, where I focus on helping guide you to have a business that produces consistent, positive cash flow. In doing so, you'll have a financially healthy business and be able to achieve your personal goals, which will allow you to sleep well at night. Today is a solo show. It is the first Monday of every month, and that's what we are doing today. It is just me, no guest, and I'm gonna dive into really focusing on the number one reason businesses fail and what you can do about it. So if you think about it, the only reason businesses fail is they run out of money. If they still had money in the bank, they'd still be in business. And that is the only and number one reason why 50% of businesses go out of business before their fifth birthday. So as your outsource CFO, I have learned all these lessons throughout the last 13, 14 years as a business owner before that I worked in the finance world. So now I'm able to combine my expertise and experience in the trades with my expertise and experience in the financial world to help guide you to financial prosperity. So the last three years, I was a owner of an electrical service company. We had transitioned that company from doing a little bit of everything to 100% residential service. And I am now able to use that experience, like I said, along with my financial experience to help you get to where you wanna go. So I've been there, I've walked in your shoes. The PL doesn't look terrible, but cash flow was still tight. I'm sure you have been in that situation where your bookkeeper accountant shows you your PL. And the bottom line looks not too bad. Doesn't look as bad as maybe you think it is because the bank account is a lot lower and it's stressing you out. So it is a grind. It is going to be a grind to scale up your business. But now I wanna share with you the do's and don'ts so you can get to where you wanna go a lot quicker. And as Warren Buffett said, the best way to learn is mistakes, especially when it's other people's mistakes because then you don't have to make them. So I was able to exit that electrical company earlier this year, 2024. And now I focus on helping blue collar business owners just like you have a financially healthy business. So. There are so many owners in the trade, in my opinion, that are so close to achieving that freedom they sought when they started their business. Every business owner I talked to, they were technicians at one point. They had this dream, they had this vision, or maybe they bought an existing business and saw the opportunity, saw the vision, saw where they can take this, the wealth, the prosperity, the time freedom, the financial freedom. And now there are a few things getting in the way. And a lot of times those things that get in the way are related to cash flow. So as I said at the beginning, the number one reason businesses fail is they run out of money. In fact, that's the only reason businesses fail is money, which relates to cash flow. So what I want to share with you today are the five super easy things that you can implement today without changing your pricing yet. I will say a caveat to that. The number one issue I see with all businesses in the trades is their pricing is not right. That's a little bit more complicated to solve because there are a lot more things going on and we can't really solve that over a podcast. However, in this podcast, I will give you five things that you can start doing today in order to get your business having a little bit better cash flow over time. So with these five things, you can implement it right after the show. And now let's get into them. So the first thing I would encourage everybody listening to do is go to your top vendor. So who provides you the most supplies, materials, equipment for your business. So if you're an electrical company, who is supplying you all of your breakers and your panels and your wire and your switches and your outlets and your receptacles and all those things. And if you're in plumbing, same thing, HVAC, the same thing. Who is providing you all of your material? Whoever that is, you probably have some in your warehouse. If that material in your warehouse is not on consignment, I would encourage you to go to your vendors. Ideally, you have some purchasing power. Tell them your story, your vision, your mission of where you wanna take this thing. You wanna build a long lasting relationship with them and see if they will put that material on consignment for you. What that means is all of the material in your warehouse is being, you are holding it on behalf of your vendor and you're not putting any money out of pocket in order to get that material. The only time you pay for it is when you actually use it. So when you can do that, it'll free up a lot of cash flow and it'll make you a lot more efficient because you're probably gonna have a lot more material on hand, supplies on hand, equipment on hand, because you don't have to put cash out for it. So that way your vans are fully stocked, which takes us to 
The second thing you can do to improve cash flow, because this will improve the efficiency of your service technicians by a whole bunch, because you're going to be spending a lot less time chasing material and a lot more time doing work, is making sure your vans are fully stocked. Make sure they have everything on their van that they need in order to do the jobs that they're going out there today. If they're going to do service calls, they're going to do repair calls, they're going to do diagnostic type stuff, they need to have a lot of stuff on their van so that way when they sell something to their customers, they can get started and they don't have to wait for material, they don't have to go chase down material. So that's number two. Number three, which is surprising to me, but a lot of the companies I talk to, they are not having their service technicians collect payment upon completion. Once you are done with the job, you should be getting paid right away. We don't walk into restaurants, order things, eat things, and tell them I'll be back in 30 days to pay it. We pay it upon completion of that meal, and we need to do the same thing as a home service company, as a blue collar business. So start putting in the process where your technicians have the ability to collect payment upon completion. So that's number three. Number four is implementing performance pay for your technicians. How you do this and what this looks like is gonna be a little bit different for everybody, depending on your preference, your business, your state, legalities, all that. But I would encourage everybody listening in order to improve efficiency significantly, which means you can do more revenue per day per technician, is getting on performance pay and getting away from hourly pay. Hourly pay incentivizes people to take longer to get things done and they are self-serving. Whereas performance pay encourages them to get things done more efficiently. So that way they make more money, the company makes more money and the client is happier because you're not there all day and you're not billing the client per hour. The people who make the most money in an hourly system are people who are not good at what they do and who take a really long time. Because people are not good at what they do when they get paid hourly, anytime they get called back, they get to go make more money for screwing it up in the first place. So performance pay is the way to go to help you with your cash flow issues. And then number five is being properly staffed. So what does that mean? That means not having too many people in the office. A lot of time when we start scaling or we have inefficiencies in the office, we have just too many people in the office because we don't have the right standard operating procedures. We don't have the right models. We don't have the right accountability. We don't have the right expectations. So if you're in plumbing, HVAC and electrical, you should have twice as many people in the field as you do in the office. So if you have five people in the office, you should have 10 technicians out in the field. Now, if you are not in one of those three main trades, it might be a little bit higher because you don't need as much many people in the office because your technicians aren't doing as much revenue. So if you're in lawn care landscaping, it might be four or five to one because you only need one person in the office to support four or five people just because you got you know bigger crews and less revenue per employee out in the field. So those are five things you can implement right after this show to start improving the cash flow of your business. Number one, again, is material on consignment. Anything in your warehouse, Ideally, you have not paid for, you didn't put cash out for, because that's just money sitting around. Instead, your top vendors are putting that on consignment for you. Number two is fully stocked vehicles for your technicians so they can spend more time doing work and less time chasing material, which will increase your revenue, which will improve cash flow. Number three is collect all of your payments upon completion. So right when the job is done, collect upon completion. There are even some companies that collect once they get started on the work and that's totally fine as well. The key is to not have people owe you money once you leave that customer's house. Number four is performance pay. We do not wanna incentivize people for milking the clock and not being good at their job. We wanna pay people who are really good at what they do so they can make more money and build a career with your organization. And then number five, ensure you are properly staffed from a office to field ratio. If you're in the three main trades of electrical, plumbing, and HVAC, you should have twice as many people in the field as you do in the office. And if you're in another trade like window cleaning, landscaping, power washing, that type of stuff, it's probably going to be more four or five to one or even a little bit more than that. So go out there and start doing that today in your business. I promise you this will help you. That is my goal is to help you achieve your full potential. I see so many businesses that are so close to achieving their full potential, achieving their goals, building wealth, if they just get some of these number things right. The key is to get started today. 
If you need any help, go to thebluecollaradvisors.com. That is my website where you will have two different options. One thing you can do, you can book a free call with me. We will dive into your business, figure out what's working, what's not working, do a financial assessment so you have a roadmap to success. Or if you're not quite ready for that, you can tackle the number one problem that I see with businesses, and that is being priced properly. I have a totally free pricing calculator that took a really long time to build out. It's in Excel, but it's very user friendly. It also comes with a step-by-step -step guide that's a PDF, and it also comes with a step-by-step -step guide video walkthrough that I recorded for you so you can start getting priced properly so you can build a business that lasts forever. And the only way to do that is to have consistent positive cash flow with permanent profitability. So if you have any questions, go there. Remember, when you implement these things, it won't fix your business overnight. This is an instant gratification world, but it will take some time. There is no magic pill, but doing these small things consistently will lead to big things, big results, and eventually you'll see a big difference in your cash flow. That's all I got for today. Have a great rest of your day. Talk to you all soon.